This is the Spiral Rose Garden, and this is a very special painting. Now, the painting actually feels alive. Even the garden and the flowers seem to somehow come to life. This is a concept that Mina really strives for in all her work. The concept of bringing inanimate objects and nature to life, giving them human qualities. In fact, she uses the palette knife even more than a regular paintbrush, so that she achieves this three-dimensional effect in her paintings. She's a lover of the Impressionist art movement, so she strives to be true to this art style and form in most of her paintings. Her brush or palette knife strokes give an Impressionist feel, similar to Monet, Renoir and Van Gogh. The statue in this painting, with an angelic-looking human form playing a flute, generates an uplifting sense of celebration of life, where the flowers seem to be dancing and singing along with the statue. It also means that when you are in the right environment, everything in nature reflects how we are thinking and our consciousness. When we are happy, everything around us is happy. The merging of man-made architecture and nature are also displayed as the columns and the statue are amongst the flowers and grapevines, which shows a complete harmony between humankind and their surroundings, including Mother Nature. One of the things I really love about this piece, which I feel makes it special, is the incredible texture that gives the whole piece depth. I asked Mina how she achieved this, and she said she mixes oil paint with sand. That's right, sand. What an interesting trick of the trade. She uses it alongside acrylic paint to create this fantastic effect that makes the paint actually stand out off the canvas. Now, it's Mina's goal in life to incorporate her Kabbalah teachings fully into her art, and I think this is one of the pictures that displays that the best. Mm -hmm.